G'day folks, today we're adding a brightly coloured lanyard to my BSP bushcraft knife. It'll make it easier to draw and more visible when I drop it on the ground. The knot we're going to be using today is the snake knot and we'll finish it off with a crown knot. This is how we tie it. I just want to cover the blade with a bit of cardboard. So to tie this knot we take our left hand strand, we come around the one on the right, to form a loop. Then we take our right hand strand, come around the back, then through this gap in the loop and dress it all down. It should look like that. Then it's a matter of doing exactly the same thing over and over again. Nice and easy to remember. Form a loop, come behind through the loop. Once you've got your snake knot to the desired length, then you've got some different options. You can either just snip the ends and leave the tag, you can burn and melt the ends, or you can add a crown knot. So to tie this crown knot, we take our right hand strand, we're going to form an overhand loop and then flip that loop so it's over the top of the left hand strand. Come around the back and then we're going to weave over, under, over. And that will give you a carrick bend. Now the last step. I find it helps if you just poke your finger through. We need to come around the back, past where this strand is, and then through that little triangle gap in the middle. Same with this strand, we're going to go past that left hand strand that comes out of our snake knot, and through that same gap. Now you can either leave this gap or you can dress it all down nice and close. If you dress it close to the snake knot, it looks like that. Or you can leave a little finger loop. Again, you can cut and melt the ends. Or you can leave a little tail and snip and melt those. You do you. So putting a lanyard on your gear is a practical use for a decorative knot. Let me know in the comments what you're going to put a lanyard on. Thanks for watching.